Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to create a droppable uh, for Vina, so that way you can be able to drop objects on your VTuber model. Like, what if you want to drop an anvil on your head or something like that, or a giant mallet or something? You just want to drop something. So I'm going to be showing you how you can set that up. So, just want to give some heads up. First of all, you're going to be needing Unity 2020.3.48. Uh, but keep in mind, Vinyan does update a lot, so because of that, there's going to be a chance that Vinyan's going to have a new Unity version in the future. So this will probably make this tutorial outdated. The only reason why I'm releasing this tutorial is so you guys can know how to do it. But basically, if a new version of Unity pops up, just apply your knowledge and basically just um, self-experiment, basically. That's all I'm going to say. So... Uh, of course, I'll also say you need to also know how to use Unity. I also recommend if you know how to use Blender, please learn how to use Blender. Take your time. Google is your friend. So, there's that. But if you're also wondering where you can get some food props from, um, well, not food props, uh, props in general, like 3D models, my bad. Um, basically, uh, if you're looking for 3D objects, um, you can definitely go to, like, Turbo Squid or Sketchfab or any, like, 3D model hosting site and you can download some free assets there or you can model it yourself with blender or you can go to the unity asset store and download some yourself there uh there's plenty of objects you can get just make sure you credit properly and then um besides that uh if you don't have time to do that you can of course hire someone else to do it for you that that's fine uh whatever you choose just make sure you have a fbx file and the texture folder uh, or just a texture could be a single image for my case I have mine right here, which is like my mouse uh, What you can do is you're going to of course install the Vinyan SDK Which I'm going to in the next uh, following clip I'm going to be showing you how to install the Vinyan SDK, which is a simple click and drag to your uh, Unity project file or your project basically so roll that clip so, in order to install the Vinyan SDK to Unity, first of all, you're going to be needing the version Unity 2020.3.48. Now, I'm using the wrong version of Unity, don't ignore what the top part of my screen says, but that's the version I recommend to you, and that's also what Suvidrail would recommend. Do keep in mind, by the way, Vinyan does rapidly update. So because of that, there's going to be a chance Vinyan, actually it's more of a definite, that down the line Vinyan's probably going to get um, a big Unity change. So there's going to be like a, it's going to probably be in Unity 2021 or 2022 down the line. Um, again, the date of that is unknown. Probably in the future, maybe you end up um, getting that update, I don't know. But either way, if there happens to be a new update to Vinyan, then please make sure you use that version instead and then you disregard the version I just mentioned. But in the making of this tutorial, Unity 2020.3.48 is a version you're going to be using. So, in order to install the Vinyan SDK, you basically just go to Unity, uh, open up your project, name it wherever you want. I personally put the Unity VRM, um, you know, files here you don't have to but that's if you want if you prefer using mtune i usually prefer mtune for simplicity but you do whatever you want um but you don't have to basically in file explorer you should have um you should install the vinyan sdk again the vinyan sdk also updates as well um so just keep an eye out for any updates because again vinyan does rapidly update so i cannot keep keep up but i just you know so basically just download the Vinyan SDK um, and then you just click and drag the Unity package over to Unity and then you just click on import. You just give it some time to import basically and that's how you would install it and as you can see the Vinyan SDK is right here basically. So pretty much uh, from there you can basically just do what you want in regards to the Vinyan SDK which um, I will then show you in the next clip what's the next thing we're going to be doing. Alright, so once you have the Vina SDK uh, installed, of course, you're going to then right click, you're going to click on create, and then you're going to add a brand new folder. Then what you're going to do is you're going to name it wherever you want. I'm going to name this mouse because that's the, or computer mouse because that's what I have. I have computer mouse prop, 
um, that I want to make into a droppable. Uh, but you can name it whatever you want. You can name it prop. Whatever the heck the object is, just name it. Give it a name. Uh, and what you're going to do is that uh, here you're going to basically click and drag your FBX and your texture. If there is textures, it doesn't need it. But if you have it, you have it. Whatever. You just need the FBX file. And you're just going to import it into your um, Unity project. Um, your Unity project, basically. Which mine. There. I'm just going to click and drag. There you go. So... Basically what you're going to do once you have it in here, uh, you can then go to your material tab right here. So click on the FBX file, click on materials, extract your materials, then right click, click on new, click on folder, and then you can add a materials folder if that makes sense, right? You're going to extract your uh, materials all right there, and then um, you can then click and drag the FBX file to your hierarchy, and here it is. You can then, um, of course, adjust your materials from there. Uh, for me, I've imported the VRM package um, because I prefer M2 for simplicity. But of course, you can use whatever shader you want. It could be Poyomi, Lil Tune, Arc Tune, whatever shader you use, even if it's your own custom one. You can't, as long as it works with a built in Unity pipeline, that's all that matters. But once you have your, you know, you set up your shaders and all that beautiful stuff, uh, if your object appears to be a little too big, um, you can of course go to model, and then you can make the scale factor to be a lot smaller. So I usually put 0.3, uh, with how big I model my stuff, or you could put it to 0.1 if you need it to be more smaller. Uh, but usually you could just test in Vignon and see. Um, plus there should also be a scale option for droppables anyway, so if it's too sm big or too small, you have the option to adjust. If you uh, happen to have it where it has blend shapes for some reason, um, like it's basically has like a sort of idle animation uh, and then it drops on your head or something like that, uh, please make sure to allow legacy blend shape normals to be enabled. Otherwise, if you don't got it, then don't you don't have to put it there. But yeah, but either way though, um, besides that, um, all you need to do afterward is that you need to. Uh, you could just select your object here, right? And then you could just add a component and just type in droppable uh, And you can add a droppable object right here. You can add a collision prefab if you want um, Which you'll then have to basically make a empty particle container uh, Add your particle uh, the particle the Vignon particle component such I'm not gonna really go over that but otherwise if you want a particle you can um, you can also make it where the object is sticky. So if you want it where it sticks to your head, like, you know, cheese drops from the skies or something like that, you can, of course, enable this. Uh, or if you want it where it can destroy on collision, like let's say you have a tomato that drops on your head and you want it to destroy on impact, then you can, of course, um, you know, of course, like, enable that as well. But for now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But that's if you want to have some extra stuff, basically. But besides that, uh, what you're going to then do is add component. You're going to then add a rigid body. Rigid body, this is referring to its weight. Uh, so if you want it to be very heavy or very light like a feather, you can adjust the settings there, but I'm going to leave it by default. And then what you can do is um, you can then add um, a box collider. You can also add capsule. Like let's say you're tossing a soda can or dropping a soda can from the sky and it has to roll. You can add a capsule collider, but... Yeah, but either way, you have like multiple clients you can choose from, but I usually choose between box or capsule, so I'm just going to choose box collider, and then I'm going to click on edit collider and then check to see if it's all good. For me, it looks perfectly fine. Um, what you could also do is you can also right click and add it as an empty game object if things don't work well if you want, but I'm not going to do that. It should be fine. But once you have your droppable object here, your rigid body, and your box collider here, uh, all you really mainly have to do is select your prop, go to Vignon SDK, export droppable. Then you're going to go to your Vignon folder, uh, which mine's right here. Vignon folder, I'm going to go to my items. It has to be in the droppables folder here for it to be detected. Then you're going to type whatever the name of the droppable is, VN drop, and then click on save. Give it some time to export. And then you should be done. Once you have that, you're going to then go into Vignan. Hi. 
And then uh, what you're going to then do is you're going to go to your settings. Then you're going to go ahead and reload items. Once you have that, um, and it's also under miscellaneous, by the way, so settings, miscellaneous, M-I-S-C, and then you click on reload items. Uh, this is mainly best if you have Vignon open already, but if not, you don't have to, but I would recommend if, if, the, if it doesn't appear, you would click on that. But basically what you're going to then do is you're going to go to your node graph, then you're going to click on add new graph here. Now you can do this to either Twitch, Kick, YouTube, whatever you want, but we're going to do a channel point uh, in case. Uh, but again, you, you know, apply your knowledge, apply your knowledge, so if it has to be YouTube, you choose the YouTube one and so on. But let's say we're going to drop mouse, um, you know, we're going to have that redeem, right? So we're going to go to action nodes, we're going to click on drop item down here, and then you're going to connect these together like this, right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and find the prop that you made. Mine's right here, mouse. Then you're going to add um, the destroy it second. So it could be like, you know, let's say it'll be 5 seconds. Actually, no, 10 seconds. And then the amount, we'll just say 2. We'll drop 2 mouses on my head. Um, and then um, what you can do, of course, is... Um, afterwards, you can then, of course, uh, if there is an audio... You can add audio, or you can make it bigger or smaller. Uh, but let's say we can make it a little bigger, uh, or giant. And then you can just right-click, send signal. And then you got mouses that fall from the sky. Oh my god. They're falling from the sky! Oh! But yeah. Um, but you could definitely do that. Yes. Um, and then, um, if you do want to add audio, right, if you want to add audio, you can, of course, uh, go here. Um, I believe you can, um, let's say do audio, um, audio source. So basically, um, all you have to do is just add your audio clip right here. So, you know, it'll be like a MP3 file, basically. I don't think WAV is accepted. I don't know. I, I usually do MP3. So MP3 I put in here, and then I just get rid of the play on the wake, basically. And that's kind of it, really. That's mainly what I do in order to get the audio source working. This also applies to throwables and such, um, or anything. Any of, um, anything. I mean, you could do it to world, but, uh, for, like, you know, edible, throwable, droppable, and such, you can add the audio, basically, and, yeah, you can do that. So, yeah. Either way, though, um, that's pretty much how you can make a droppable with the Vignon SDK, basically. And, yeah, now you can be able to have, uh, raining, um, you can now have, like, raining mouses in the sky. Ah! Oh, it's raining mouses! Hallelujah! Okay, but anyways, though, um... But yeah, I hope that this tutorial at least helps you out and at least getting started with the Vignon SDK on how to make droppables. And yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments. And of course, please join Superdrill Discord server if you need even more help with Vignon because there is literally a whole dedicated community there. It is much better than reporting your issues to Reddit about Vignon because literally the v uh, Superdrill Discord server is literally the Vignon of Reddit, if that makes sense. So, if you need help, please join the Discord server. But otherwise though, uh, yeah, leave your questions here. I'll try my best to answer it and all that and yeah um i hope you guys do have a lovely day and i'll see you guys next time bye bye thank you so much to all my snowflake members in case you don't know i have youtube membership so if you want to get access to extra perks and further support me and what i do then feel free to join the snowflake memberships otherwise though just you guys watching is just enough support for me and i appreciate every ounce of it so Either way, though, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!